Hi, I'm Markia. Want to hear something scary? Bed bugged. Eilani loved her new place on the big island in Hawaii. The rent was cheap and it was an amazing location. There was only one real problem. Her roommate, Maya, was a loud insomniac. At first, Eilani was able to ignore Maya's late night activity, but with each passing night, it got worse. All the lights outside Eilani's room were always on, and Maya seemed to make strange noises through the apartment all night long. Elani found herself getting less and less sleep each night, and finally she confronted Maya about it. She thought it was possible that Maya simply didn't realize how much noise she made at night. Maya signed an apology and promised to keep it down, but that night, it was the worst so far. The constant whisking noises and loud stomping, and occasionally Maya raising her voice as well. The only thing Elani could make out when she did was Maya bursting out in frustration. I said I'd get it done, I promise. Just don't do anything crazy. The next day, Elani confronted Maya once again and threatened to move out. She needed her sleep more than anything else. Maya begged her not to leave and offered a solution. Why don't you take over the master bedroom? It's much quieter in that room, I promise, Maya signed. I'll even give it to you for the same rent. She also wrote out their agreement on paper as well. Elani was reluctant to take the offer. The extra space would be nice for the same cheap rent, but she really couldn't afford to lose more sleep because of Maya's weird nighttime habits. Maya insisted that Elani sleep in the master bedroom tonight just to see how it felt. And if she liked it, they could switch their stuff around tomorrow. Elani agreed, hoping to finally get a good night's sleep. She had never been in her roommate's bedroom before and was surprised at how beautiful her bed was. Maya explained it was a very sturdy heirloom that had been in her family for generations. A four-poster canopy bed made from ornately carved mahogany. Elani couldn't imagine anyone having trouble sleeping in it. That night, she was relieved to find that the master bedroom was much quieter, and she soon fell into a restful and deep sleep. She wasn't sure how long she'd been out when she once again heard that same loud and repetitive brushing sound. To her, it sounded almost like a loud mix of teeth brushing noises with clicking and broom sweeping. It was insidious, invasive. Elani was furious. Just as she was about to get out of bed and give Maya peace of her mind, she realized something terrifying. The sounds were coming from under the bed. Elani froze. Something was in the room with her. She called out to Maya, hoping this was some weird prank, but there was only more skittering and an unsettling clicking sound. In a panic, she reached for her phone, but it wasn't there. Only the cable she had used to charge it. Suddenly, there was tugging on the bedspread. Whatever was moving on the floor was crawling onto the bed. A head poked over the foot of the bed, and for a moment, Elani thought it was a cat and breathed a sigh of relief. But as more and more and even more of the creature made its way onto, alongside, and above the bed, the moonlight from the window revealed it fully. It was the biggest bug Elani had ever seen. She backpedaled up to the head of the bed as the gigantic centipede-like creature slithered towards her and clicked with its giant pincers. Terrified, Elani glanced over the edge of the bed and the insect's body coiled everywhere around the floor. Adrenaline spiking, she sprang up 
and tried to leap from the bed to the door. While she was in midair, whip quick, the creature lunged and wrapped its endless body around her, savagely digging its pincers into her flesh. It let out an insectoid screech as Elani let out a blood-curdling scream. Maya felt the vibrations of Elani's screams on the other side of the bedroom door. This offering would keep the ancient one her family line were caretakers for at bay. Otherwise, the giant insect horror would hunt, reproduce with the smaller yet equally dangerous of its kind, and then there would be slaughter. But for now, the ancient centipede would rest again. It should be sated for months this time. Maya breathed a sigh of relief. Finally, she could get a good night's sleep.